Hi everyone! Today I'm going to scrapbook a photo of me and my flip-flops. We were on a cruise last November and there was an activity that was arts and crafts related and I went and thought it'd be fun to try out. The activity was to decorate flip-flops with tiny balloons. I really wanted to make my flip-flop stand out so instead of alternating the colors, I decided I would do a rainbow effect from the left foot to the right. So I'll have the pinks, the reds, the orange on one, and then I have the yellows, the greens, and the blues on another. As you can see, exactly what it's like in my photo. So for this page, I decided to use this very colorful, fun, summery type of pattern paper as my background paper because we were on a cruise and the paper reminded me of how tropical um, the vacation was. We went to the Bahamas. So I thought the paper was very fitting for the photo. Now I didn't want the photo to get lost in the page or on top of the background sheet of paper so I matted it with a pink cardstock. I'm going through the ephemera pack to pick out a few pieces I wanted to use and I selected this pink speech bubble because I thought it'd be great if I put it by the announcer who said that I had won the competition. I also wanted to use that neon yellow green um, little tag as my journaling of my journaling tag and then I pulled out some of those Mambi Chips uh, stickers to also decorate my page. I debated if I wanted to use another pattern sheet of paper on top of this fun colorful paper but I ended up deciding just to leave it because I really want to showcase the the birds and the beach ball as well as the sunglasses and pineapples. So. I decided not to use another sheet of pattern paper to layer underneath it. I'm gluing down my photo now, but in a little bit, I'll actually pull it back up and move it over because I ended up needing more space for my title and I wanted the title to lead into the speech bubble. I'm adding a couple of chipboard pieces now. This one says, today was a good day. Um, that black flag, says hashtag the very best and then I added another banner flag to where my journaling will be and it says for the record. I found this really cute circle sticker that said so cool and I added a couple of hearts as well. This day was actually really memorable because it was really fun and funny at the same time. I had to actually wear my flip-flops and pretend to walk on a runway. If I feel like it, I might actually add the video clip my boyfriend got of me doing that to the end of this video. So stay tuned if you want to see me strut my flip-flops down the imaginary cruise runway. So I wanted to title this page flip flop decorating because that's what I did and add the word winner in the speech bubble. I'm using these teal colored thickers to do the flip flop decorating portion of the page and these will definitely stand out because it's a different teal than the teal you see in the background pattern paper and right now I am spelling out decorating backwards because I wanted to make sure I had room to put the word winner on the speech bubble. But it's at this point that I realized I did not have enough space. So I keep on pulling them off and putting them back on and scooting them over a little bit. In the end, I really just had to lift my entire photo and all the embellishments that I have already glued down over about an inch or so so that I can fit the entire word decorating with those thickers 
And then later on, I will add the word winner into the speech bubble. I use these green glittered stickers from Recollections. And I use green because I want to make sure it stood out on top of this pink speech bubble. So now for my journaling, I decided to not use my typical black pen. I actually ended up using an Amy Tangerine pen that came out with a teal kind of color. And I wrote, the boat had crafts time and I did my colors in rainbow order and strutted my flip flops down the runway and won. Because I had two spots on my page where it had a black flag or banner, you can call it, I wanted to add a third one and extend it up in a diagonal line to right next to my title. And I picked out this sticker that says, have to share this. That was also in black, so it goes very well with the other two black embellishments. I'm picking out some enamel dots right now, and the colors that go really well with this page are the greens and the yellows. So I spread those throughout the page. I do three dots in each of the embellishing areas, and the embellishing areas are the ones that I have surrounding my photo so that you will focus on the photo when you're looking at the entire page. The last couple of things I was planning to add were these little banners from the ephemera pack. And at the end, I decided not to use them because I felt like the page was pretty full already. So I decided not to put those in. I add one important thing that I always add is my date. And I pulled out this Amy Tangerine roller date stamp and picked the sentiment created and put the date right next to my title. So I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I hope you have a crafty day.